What's going on, everybody? This is Ray Rollins from the Ray Rollins Network. And today, we got a SpongeBob review for you. We are talking about the episode called Karen's Baby. And I got Mr. Alex Payne here with me. Mr. Alex Payne, what are your first thoughts on this episode right here? My first thoughts were what the hell is happening right now? It was like, I just didn't know what the, I, I was wondering if I was watching Futurama and shit got really weird. You know what my first thought when watching the episode is, and I'm surprised this never occurred to me. If Karen is supposed to be Plankton's computer, then why is there always a computer in the background when she's around? I thought she was exactly right. I don't know, man. You know, scratch all that. The thing that I'm really wondering throughout this whole thing is why the fuck can you deliver babies? Can you get babies delivered to you? Well, I've seen the SpongeBob verse, but you can't return them, bitches. <laughs> my question, my question is right. So uh, we're getting. I feel like you're going into a weird area, but if. If the why does the stork have weapons to fight the deliver where they're delivering it to, but still deliver the baby? Exactly. It don't make no damn sense. <laughs> it don't make no sense. This whole episode is weird, but man, that's what we love SpongeBob for. SpongeBob has never been a realistic cartoon series. It's known for being weird, wacky, and outlandish. Have all those weird characters, weird plot lines, and whatnot. And that's another thing. SpongeBob was only in this episode for probably not even a minute. I think that's what really surprised me, honestly. It, that's what really surprised me right there. But with all that being said, start breaking this episode down for the people. Well, I think it's it's pretty simple, really. Um, Karen decides to order a baby so they could have one. There was they made a lot of you know maternity jokes like. It was on back order for nine months and, you know, this, that, or the other. Plankton played the surprised father. So it, she had the baby. Plankton didn't want it. Plankton made the baby run away. Then he had to go put, get the baby back because obviously Karen was not happy with him for running the child away. And he had to save the baby from some... Underwater robots that have never been seen before, but you know, that's just how Spongebob is, I guess, because now we have faith. This was a very Futurama-ish episode. It really was. I mean, only people who actually watch Futurama will understand, but this was a very Futurama-ish episode. I don't know if that's, if that was like the point or if they were just blatantly ripping it off because they feel like nobody would notice, but it was a very Futurama-ish episode. But I think the episode was pretty all right, though. I don't think it was the greatest thing in the world, but I think it was a pretty decent episode, you know, because I will say this, though. I don't think I I don't think I laughed at any point, but I think it was an enjoyable episode. I don't know. You know, I, I'm kind of right there with you. I, went, I laughed a couple of times, to be honest. With you. I wouldn't say laugh like, ha, ha, ha. But, you know, I had a little chuckle here and there. Like, honestly, when Plankton said or I'm sorry, when Karen said, oh, yeah, we're having a baby. Plankton, I just liked how his whole eye just freaking boom, just blew up. A baby? Because that's how I'd be if I'm happy. Man, I don't, I never want kids. I'm a young guy. I never want kids. <laughs> never want to have them. But I'm just like, oh man, oh damn, I'm having a baby. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for this, honestly. But Plankton eventually just warms up to the kid. Like Karen kicks Plankton out, right? Tells him to go find the baby Chip. And Plankton sees the robots getting ready to scrap him for his parts in a sense. Plankton tries to go save him. Get away from my son. You know, the classic dad protecting kid line in any type of cartoon that you'll ever hear. And then they get away from him. And then they start to corner and surround him. He's like, oh, no, get away from, get away from, me. from me. And then he just starts, he just dips off running. I'm like, yo, Plankton, man. You a better man than me. I let that, <laughs> especially as a kid, I didn't want. I let them robots to take his ass out. Like you know, weird. that's really weird, you know, because when you really think about it, ro <laughs> the robot was like, "We want your parts." That was so creepy when you think about it, especially since he's talking to a, what would technically be a, considered a teenager. Right. 
It was very rapey, yeah. is what I'm saying. And I, I just want to mention this real quick. At the, um, at the end, well, I guess the end issue, when he was going off to college, Plankton made a reference to the first time he was ever on. The first episode he was ever on, when he was like, I just remember, in the first episode, he was like, I went to college. And then in this episode, right. at the end, he was like, but I, I went to college, too. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was a cool nod to his first um, ever appearance on the show, if that was even I, intentional, I, which I think it was. I, of course. I really liked the part where, you know, of course, Plankton was like, oh, yeah, get away from my son. And then the little Chip's like, oh, yeah, get away from my father. And then he's like, oh, he says father. Father was his first word. I'm so rubbing in Karen's face. And that's where he really warms up to the to Chip. That's where he really warms up to him. And I, I love that shit, man. See Plankton finally get, getting to love his kid. That's that's what really meant the world to me. But what are your final ratings? Um, I think I think the episode was interesting. I don't think it was great. I don't. Th- I think I'm gonna go for a six. I think it was above oh. average. I think if it was above average, which would obviously be a five directly in the middle, I think it was slightly better than okay. So I would give it a five. Because so, I think that's the perfect area for it. You know, it wasn't ungodly funny. So, well, actually, I, like I said, I didn't laugh at all. But I still, I didn't, I didn't regret watching it. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm sticking with a six. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of right there with you. Um, it is definitely not the most horrible episode of SpongeBob I've ever seen. I actually kind of do like it. It kind of makes sense in a sense. Like, you get to see some of Plankton's emotions, although, you know, they'll change every single different episode you see him in. But you you have Chip, who's a character who can re- return every once in a while if they so choose to do so. So, for it being an interesting episode, not extremely boring, it was okay. It wasn't, like, funny, but, you know, it had its moments. I'm kind of right there with you. I'll give it a six. It's not the best, but you know what? It's not also not the worst. So I'll say six right there with you. Any final words? I went to college. No, you didn't. I'm currently going to college. Yeah, but right. with that all but th- with that all being said, this is Ray Rollins and Alex Payne from the Ray Rollins Network with our first SpongeBob review returning to this new schedule. We will see you tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday for all the goodness, the goodness on the Ray Rollins Network. Peace out, everybody.